Hey everybody, Cardboard Jesus with you. Welcome. We're gonna do Crown Five uh, right now. Come this way. <laughs> yes, it is a relatively new rule. I mean, you know, came out uh, you know about about two days ago. All right, this is uh, to give the uh, Mavericks away. Seven times will be the uh, random for the Mavericks. Check this out. I mean, I mean, again, I mean, you cannot be too careful with a fat lever card. I mean, because I mean, because how? I mean, how many fat lever autographs are there? You know, it means anywhere between what, like seven and like eleven thousand. I mean, it's just it's 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 enough that you got to be careful. All right, seven times top spots out of this getting the uh, sweet sweet Mavericks and whatever Luca Awesome I hit about hit out of this, and the money shot seven times going to Robert. Roberto, even. All right, so Roberto, eighteen nineteen crown five. If I were to spell Mavericks properly, would be helpful. Did he just one shot that thing? One shot at it with the Warriors. You know what? So be it. Whatever. Do what you do, my man. Do what you do. Click, 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 clickety, clickety, clack, clack, click, click, clack. Okay, that's square. All right, we good. Here are your teams. And let's move this over and start this thing. All right. A very sad last case of Crown. Will you provide us with some amazing things, Crown? Will you? It says one autograph and one memorabilia, but I mean, really, there has been more.
pretty sure I was going to cut my finger on the, on one of those. So I'm mildly impressed that I didn't. It, it, Matt is fat lever, in fact, in Crown. I mean, no, I mean, truthfully, it, it would be the only basketball product that I had ever opened that he was not in. But I mean, I opened a half case and didn't see three autographs of him, so I'm a little bit curious: is he even, in fact, in this? And will Panini Basketball completely shut down once Fat Lever is no longer uh, available to sign cards or they've run out of his stickers? Well, well. I'm, I am glad that... Uh, Oh, dude, if there was a lever kaboom, that would definitely be a miss, miss shit. Oh, that, okay, that, whatever, if we, okay, can we start some kind of a uh, Twitter campaign or something along those lines to get a, uh, a lever kaboom, uh, Put together, one on one. He's a, he's a, a an old school basketball player, Joe. But like it, basically, like any basketball product, like eight, 17, 18 through, I mean, fucking eight, like fourteen, fifteen, even. Fat lever was just like one of those like guaranteed. Like you're gonna hit a lever. You're gonna hit a lever. I mean, he I mean he's a good basketball player. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean the guy is like, it, you know, was excellent in his day. But you know, it just he he took up a lot of rookie spots, a lot of rookie rookie auto spots. All right, we got the Bomba, the Holiday, the Dragon, the Wagner, the Butler, the Lopez, the Adams, a Kyle Anderson to uh, 99. Got a uh, Jimmy Butler, Penny's Choice, the 99 die cut. Then we have got a uh, K. B D Crown Royal to one ninety nine swatch autograph on card. Got a Jamal Crawford swatch for the Thunder. And I guess a uh, a bonus, a uh, Vanderbilt to ninety nine. Yeah, I, I, I uh, was it uh, 15, 16 preferred? That there is just like an unnatural amount of fat levers. All right, a Bridges, a uh, Dwight Howard, an Abaca, a Harden, a Ross, a Ball, a Corver, a Bledsoe, a Wendell Carter Jr., then we go Buddy Heel Purple to uh, 25. A Ben Simmons to 99. He is a Panini's Choice Award winner. I guess it's a winner. It doesn't say winner on there, but I'm going to imagine that you got to be a winner to uh, get that. And to 10, Michael Porter Jr. 
Niceness. Oh, fat lever, my friend. If I ever, if I want it, when I win the lottery, I am going to become a fat lever uh, a super collector. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have people looking on eBay like some, like some random guy is gonna be like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I remember Fat Lever when I, you know, when I was a kid or whatever. When, what are his cards going for? They're gonna be for like seven thousand dollars, because I'm, because I'm just gonna buy them to the point that people are just gonna jack price up and up and up. But since I won the lottery, I'm not gonna care, and I'm just gonna keep buying them. Change the fat lever market completely. All right, Josh Jackson, Lonnie Walker, Dennis Smith, Anthony Simmons, Jalen Bronson, Andre Drummond, John Collins, Derek Favors. Uh, to uh, twenty-five. Got a uh, Pacific Marquee. For the uh, DeMar DeRozan. Very fancy, fancy card. I'll put this in, put this in the top loader. Even it, it's, it's, it's so fancy. How about uh, an Akobe? Akobo to 199. Sons. Swatch autograph. Dan Issel, our boy for the Colonels, Swatchery, and a Mitch Richmond to 49 for the Warriors. Good Warriors. So far, so good. Yeah, Dan Issel's another one. Dan Issel's another one that's uh, Panini just uh, apparently Dan Issel like blacked out in a Panini uh, factory at some point and like somebody just like held his hand and just like had him sign stuff and they just cut his clothes off put more on him cut his clothes off he, he probably doesn't even know what he's done but he has uh, contributed to no fewer than 2.4 million Panini cards SGA uh, Batum, James Johnson, Anthony Davis, Lou Williams, Paul George, John Henson, Bojan, Abaga Adanavashic, Taj to uh, 99. I'll say uh, Troy Brown Jr. to 25. Die cut. And then a Jaron Jackson Jr. Crown Royal rookie jersey autograph. Odd no silhouette so far, which is which is in fact odd in itself. And a Chandler Hutchinson jersey auto or jersey. No auto. There's no ink. I didn't scrape it off. Just uh, just a jersey. Bomba, Holiday, The Dragon, Beal, Carter, Willie Stein, Gallinari, a Gordon Hayward, two ninety nine, two ninety nine, a Huerta, and a Grayson Allen. Crown uh, rookie jersey autograph twenty five. The on cards do make this especially nice. I will say, I mean, for for a relatively cheap box cost to have the uh, to ha to have them on card autos is is a nice touch. 
Ron Hellas Jefferson for the Nets. And a Mark Aguirre. Another one. Another classic. The 49. Yeah, Aguirre, definitely another classic autograph. Uh, Jerry Jackson, DeRozan, Gary Harris, Kevin Knox, John Collins, Devin Chinzia, Robert Williams, Jeremy Lin, the uh, guy from the Lakers who I refuse to uh, attempt to pronounce uh, his name to uh, 99. A uh, KBD to uh, 75. No, Nicholas. It still sits at 10. Still sits at 10. A Miles Turner autographed 49 for the Pacers. It is uh, next on my list of things to do. Uh, Chris Webb. Who even at the age of 62 is still playing. Oddly enough. If you, uh, if, if you can even believe it. I failed you, Nicholas, deeply. I had I had a twenty four dollar filler, twenty four dollar filler. Set, bottom line price for the bottom teams like is even money, straight even money, and could not get it filled. Uh, Diallo, uh, Simmons, Danny Green, Hassan Whiteside, Chris Middleton, a Otto Porter Jr., a Aaron Holiday, a Lou Williams. Will Barton to uh, nine nine. Then we go to seventy five at Jason Tatum for the Celtics basketball organization. And then how about we talk about Mikael Bridges to ninety nine autograph for the Suns. He took time out of his training schedule to sign that, and you, as a Suns fan or Suns owner, should respect that. Kevin Knox, watch. Hey, LaMarcus Aldridge, Ryan Anderson, Gasol, Zeller, George, Hansen, Bogdanovich, Buddy Heald. Come on, how these running smooth? It's 99. Clay Thompson. Pacific Marquee for the Warriors. Okay, I haven't seen many of these, so I will continue to uh, throw them the deal. A Jacob Evans. There's our first silhouette to 199 for the Warriors. A Larry Bird for the Celtics. Unfamiliar with the bird. His game worn though. He he sweated in that and scored many points. And a tank to 49 for the Hornets. Okay, so far I have been relatively unimpressed with this uh, case. The only thing that we can say at this point is power fancy to come. And Eric Gordon, Akogi, Jokic, Vuvicek, Griffin, Curry, a Horford, Clint Capella to 99. 
got a uh, Devonta Graham to ninety nine. Oof, I'm already I'm already sweating this one a little bit. It's redemption odds are I don't know who's going to go to. It is a Landry Shamet. That should be Sixers, right? Shamet is Sixers, I think. Got the uh, George Hill swatch. I'll double check it, but I think Shamet Sixers. And a Rozier to uh, 99 for the Celtics. Tony Parker, Collison, Shamet for the Sixers. Uh, bro, who who knows their basketball? A Jeremy Lin, a Ross, a Lonzo Ball, a Corver, a Lonnie Walker, the fourth for the Spurs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Bas basketball's not my sport, Rover. It's not my sport. A Jaron Jackson Jr. I know, like the top five, six guys uh, to ten, and then a handful of like some mid-tier guys. But in general, you know, I don't know. Like you know, football. You throw me a uh, football redemption. I'm going to tell you immediately who it is. But basketball, I'm not as confident. But at the same time, like I am happy with myself that I knew that uh, uh, Shemat was Sixers. Berea to 35. Nope. Uh, you got to, you got sucked into the uh, into that. You you got to wait wait for me to give it to you. That's what it comes down to. The Jamal Wilkes uh, thing. So Rover, I admit my own ignorance. And a Mark Smart Ten autograph. Not gonna pretend that I, that I know everything. I know almost everything. And the only things that I don't know are generally just mistakes by somebody else. So, anything that I don't know is basically somebody else's fault. Is, is, is the way that I look at it. Adebayo. Allen, a Gasol, a Peyton, Chris Dunn, a John Wall, a Noel, a Durantula, a Brandon Ingram to 99. We have got some that would refer to as a Robert Williams III rookie royalty die cut card. Some do Trey Young to 199, two color on card silhouette autograph for the Hawks. And a uh, Gary Trent Jr. No, I just I I mean Rover, it's just that I, I don't I don't follow as much basketball. I, I mean I like the game, I just don't follow it that much. Part of it is too, we just we don't break as much basketball as we do baseball and football. You know, I mean, for, you know, most of for me, it's like repetition. It's re like you know, it's repetition. Like I mean, like I, whatever. Hardaway, Parker, Collison, the Shamet, 
a uh, McCollum, a Gibson, a Harris, a Herter, and a Kyle Lowry. I mean, I'm going to admit when I don't uh, know something. I got, I got no shame in my, uh, in my, in my lack of knowledge. Got a uh, Andre Drummond to uh, nine nine. Yeah, baseball is like the one weird thing that like I I don't follow minor league baseball, <laughs> but I know every minor league baseball player. Marvin Bagley the third autograph. Although with baseball, like they move around too much, they move around way too much. Derek Favors. I mean, like, you'll pull a guy out of a brand new release of, like, Bowman or something. And, you know, he, he's already with, like, another team somewhere. Liam, how are you doing today? Liam Frisbee. Absolutely love the name. Thaddeus Young, which I should, which I feel like should be like Thaddeus Young the third or something, but it's not. Uh, Miritic, uh, Thomas, a Joe Jackson, a uh, Paul George, John Henson, a Bojan, a Jabari Parker, Jason Tatum to ninety nine. It sounds very regal to me. Like, like, like you should be like some kind of, uh, you know, lord or duke or something, you know, something like uh, in England, perhaps. Kevin Love to ninety nine. And Amari Spellman, two color for the Hawks at one ninety nine. And a John Havlicek for the Celtics. Would Havlicek even make a uh, make like a D one college team? Like him in his prime on like a D one team. Would would he even make it? Just with with the way that you know th th things have changed. Size-wise, speed-wise, and stuff. I genuinely wonder. All right, three more for some hotness. Yeah, right, well, Liam, I will. I mean, I'm going to ask you for a, you know, a cup of tea. And then I, you know, I will uh, provide you with whatever things a uh, a man of your rank and station uh, deserves. And as Cantor, a Sarek, an Adebayo, a uh, Jared Allen, a Paul George, a John Henson, a Bojan, a Jabari Parker, a Tony Brown. Oops, sorry. Then we have got a uh, Robin Lopez two nine nine. Hopefully not our only Luca, but we got one to forty nine rookie royalty. Uh, you know, uh, my wife does too, Liam. My wife does too. I I, I, I like my tea straight, straight, no sugar, no nothing. A Diallo autograph to uh, 149. And a Kevin Knox swatchery. Right? I mean, that's that's kind of insane. It's I mean, listen, that's the only reason that I that I put like that in a top loader is because it's 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 probably worth like seven seven thousand dollars. And it's crazy because this draft class is not bad, from like from what I understand, from what people tell me. Uh, 
but he is driving all sales on uh, on basketball. Uh, Van Fleet, a Bagley, a Grant, a Lowry, a Smith, the Vivichek, the Griffin, a Curry, a Horford, and Jonathan Isaac. Two nine nine. We've got say uh, Javon Carter. Two nine nine. I well, I, I don't know. I mean, again, I Bateson is the one that I talk to mostly about basketball because he follows it like way, way more than I do. And he is kind of under the impression that like last year's class was like a good class, like a good rookie class, but their like sophomore years have been trash. So he thinks like people are worried that they got deep in last year's class. Sophomore year, not so good. So they're worried about getting into this year's class because of like a, a potential same situation. Got to uh, Jerome Robinson to 199. Two color. And then, uh, then. An O'Neal, but for the Suns, weird, weird. I don't know. I would like to point out quickly uh, this like black spot that I have here is not dirt; it's blood. I, I smacked my uh, my uh, fingernail on on something, and so it's uh, a little bit busted. I don't want you to think. I don't want you to think I'm breaking with dirty hands, dude. Zachary, that's. I mean, that's a hundred percent the deal, man. I mean, if you follow, I mean, especially if you follow basketball or something, like you get like somebody that comes out like that has like some monster game, throw throw one of their cards up twenty four hour auction. You're gonna get. You're gonna do better than if you if it just sits. Football is my personal favorite sport. Mo Bamba, a Drew Holiday, a Dragon, an Oladipo, a George, a Henson, a Bojan, a Jabari Parker, Wesley Matthews uh, action. Now my fa my favorite cards, though oddly enough, are uh, Bowman. I love, 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 love Bowman. Uh, to forty nine, Wesley Matthews. Got say uh, Demarcus Cousins to forty nine. Ugh, well, I mean, okay, hundred percent Rams. I'm in Florida. I am a I am a Bucks fan by birthright and by generality, but I live in Miami, so I am a Dolphins fan as well. So as a Dolphins fan, I am legally obligated to hate the Patriots. I personally don't have anything against the Rams. So, I don't want to see Tom Brady win another Super Bowl. I think he will. But I would like the Rams to win. And an Aaron Holiday to 199. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, you either hate yeah, you're I mean, it's true, you either hate the hate the Pats or you don't. A Stockton swatch. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm just so tired of him winning. Like I'm so tired of him being good. It's, it's honestly as much a point of how much it bothers me that my Buccaneers are so bad. Like that, I, I look at the rain, or, or I look at the Patriots. They don't really have like any superstar players, except for Tom Brady. Everybody else is like a, like a. Like a piece of a puzzle. But they still just destroy everybody that they face. You know, just like, like you know, like it's not even a trouble or a hassle. You know, it, it's, it's like a fact of the matter that, that they're going through, folks. And I just don't understand why the Buccaneers can't do that. So that makes me hate them. I mean, listen, I hate essentially every NFL team more or less 
No, I mean, listen, I mean, he'll probably have one, like, surgically uh, surgically added to his arm when he gets, uh, you know, when he finishes uh, his, his career in, like, eight years, you know, to, to hold all the rings. Or an Aaron Holiday to 199, Pacers. We've got, say, uh, Jerome Robinson Clippers to 199. A uh, Amari Spellman to 199 for the Hawks. The uh, Schmidt rookie autograph jersey for the Sixers. Redemption. Got a Trey Young for the uh, Hawks. Uh, Evans the third for the Warriors to 199. A Grayson Allen to uh, 25 for the Jazz. A uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. to uh, 199 for the Grizz. A uh, Okobo uh, for the Suns to 199. And got a uh, KBD to 199 for the Timberwolves. Also have uh, autographs uh, from Marcus Smart, 10, and then Michael Porter Jr., 210. Then we've got our non-patch uh, card things. Diallo to uh, 149, a Bagley to 99, a Berea to 25, a Rozier to 99, a Kaminsky to 149, a Bridges to 99, a Turner to 49, an Aguirre to 49, or Mitch Richmond to 49, and a Vanderbilt to 99. So, thank you, everybody. We'll get this right out of two.